The start of a new school year is fast approaching, and today bus drivers in the West Genesee School District got a very special kind of active shooter training. News Channel 9's Rob Hackford got a first hand look. For bus drivers like Carolyn Salmon, I've been driving for West Genesee for um, around 10 years. Tuesday's active shooter training meant getting answers. What's our first response when you hear something like that or see something like that? The decision is not between good and bad. It's between bad and worse. She and about 100 other West Genesee drivers learned one on one tactics from Armored One, a consulting group that trains teachers. Bus drivers were recently added. It's going to allow us to better let them do their job and feel safer and give them options um, as they're on their buses. Whether a shooter or a different type of attack, bus windows, the seats, and even the driver's position all require different training. We can't gear everything down to a specific incident or a typical scenario uh, like you're going to see in a movie. But what we can do is kind of develop some kind of a best practices. How does a, a bus differ from a classroom environment? Obviously, uh, we're in a moving vehicle for the first thing. Uh, correct. Uh, the school bus has its own unique challenges in the fact that, in essence, we're in a mobile platform. We could be traveling down a busy street 30 miles an hour, 55 miles an hour. So my first priority, while having to deal with whatever is occurring on the bus, I have the safety of whatever, ever, anything that I do influencing, impacting the safety of the children. In some cases, bus drivers are the first line of defense, the first and last people to see students. They can uh, filter and um, keep the entire school district safe, the, the entire school building safe if they identify a threat while they're out in the public. And hopefully keep everyone on board safe. In Camillus, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9.